At the beginning of this week's parasha, we encounter a seminal pasuk, which describes the personalities of Esav and Yaakov. Vayigdilu anarim, and the boys grew up. They reached the age of bar mitzvah, explained the Midrash, and their personalities emerged. Vayhi Esav ish ish sadeh. Esav was a skillful hunter, a man of the field, explains Rashi. What does it mean to be both a hunter and a man of the field? It's that a Yodeat Said is not really a hunter of animals, but rather a man of cunning who could entrap other people into believing that he was a tzaddik when he really wasn't. And he was an Ish Sadeh, which Sforno explains was a person who worked the fields, and yet Rashi continues in his same approach and explains that he was a man who was batel. He was without an occupation, and he would go for recreational hunting of animals and birds. He had nothing to do but hang out in the fields. Versus Yaakov, Yaakov, Ish, Tam, Yoshev, Ohalim. Yaakov was a mild person. A person explains unclus of shlemut, of perfection and completion, or as Reb Sajigon says, an ish machshava, a person of thought, a thoughtful person, Yoshev Ohalim, who found his place within the tents, the tents of Torah study. And yet, if you look at this pasuk beyond Rashi, there is something unusual, and that is when describing Esav, we find the word ish repeated twice, ish yodeat zayed, ish sadeh, versus Yaakov, who is just an ishtam. Why the repetition? Explained Rabbi Menachem B. Sachs in his Menachem Tzion, because Esav's personality was to be two-faced. He was an ish to some and an ish to others. He was presented himself as a Yodea Tzayed, he presented himself as an Ish Sadem. He was a person who wasn't a single personality. He wasn't, as Rashi explains, Kilibo Ken Piv, a person who spoke what was on his heart and what was on his heart is what he spoke. But rather he had those two different aspects to him, where Yaakov was that shalem, that man of perfection, completion. He was who you saw. He spoke as he believed, and nothing less. Explained Rabbi Menachem B. Sachs with one more piece of information that all of this is so very significant that it occurred after the age of Bar Mitzvah. Because before the age of bar mitzvah is when we have a chance to shape the personalities of our children. And Rabbi Sachs, who was the founder of Jewish education as we know it in Chicago today, explained that that's why elementary Jewish education is so critical. Because we have the opportunity up to bar and bat mitzvah to create the personalities, to ensure that our children will follow the path of Yaakov, the Ishtam Yoshevo Alim, and no other path itself. Education. And then we'll see who the children will be, and we will need to respond to their needs. That's what we also see from within this Pasuk.